Do I want to attack Frozen Shore? Wildling Invasion. Should I attack him? It makes sense. I mean, we could just get a couple of bands of uh, mercenaries. He did invade me. He did invade me after all. So it does make us all equal. He has like 200 men as well. Huh. Where are you guys going? You're going to Fen. So I could take Frozen Shore. You guys could have Fen. Yeah, go on. I'm going to do it. Just because he invaded me. I won't call my allies this time, though. Was it Dryan I like? No, it's not Dryan. Halleck? Was it Halleck? Yep, it was Halleck. Okay, he lost a lot of men, though. We'll go see Gorn. And not you, Gorn. We want a capable commander. Not Ethan. Okay. Nine. Eight. Okay, nine's the best at the moment. Wow. That's not good. Okay, I guess nine's the best. Okay. And there we go. That's my army. Okay. So we'll go straight there. We'll take the Frozen Shore and we'll just take that. We won't bother taking the Fen because they'll probably get that. And uh, yeah. Then we'll be the most powerful man beyond the wall. Because we'll have four places rather than him and his three. So we need to make sure we get this place. That's why I don't mind letting them have the Fen. He'll split it up a bit and then them two can fight with each other hopefully. And also, I'm not using my own men, which is great. But hopefully, they can keep regaining. It takes a bloody long time for us to uh, gain more men. But we're slowly, slowly making it. This sort of area here is just all one places. Not sure why they're not attacking each other. Usually, the wildlings are very bloodthirsty and attacking each other. Anyone get any nice little nicknames? White Mask, obviously, and... Six skins over there. Okay, he's going there. Hmm. Interesting. Should make it very easy to capture that then. Oh, and they've already captured Fen. Hopefully they don't... Okay, they're heading back to the Northern Frost one. That's great. I was about to say, if they headed there and got there first, that would be annoying. Oh. A mysterious hooded man approaches you. This one can grant the gift of death for the right price. Name me your price, sir. I am ambitious. Ooh. And I'll stand in the shadows for a while. The hooded man steps into the light. The price must be paid with blood. The god of death will have a piece of you. Okay, I can't go maimed. My god's really young. We can't go to my brother because my brother's terrible. I could I could nominate one of my other brothers, but... I don't know. I feel like I like this guy at the moment. I want to stay with him. So get away from me, god. Not risk. I'm not worth, it's not worth the risk. If he just said, I'll take your brother... <laughs> I would have definitely done that. I know there's one to take your son, your firstborn. Ah. It has come to my attention that the Master of Laws of the Night's Watch, Commander Cotter of East Watch by the Sea, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain. Trying to get enough people to recognize a claim of my title. The Night's Watch is trying to claim my title. Are you kidding me? That doesn't make sense. What the hell? What the hell? He would claim on Central Frost Fangs. That is just odd. Okay. That's just really odd. Okay. He doesn't need to capture this place. But he's out fighting, though. Okay. Nothing else is really going on. This is what you get for trying to bring us down. Us, the family of Ready Hall. You should never disgrace us. Try and defeat us, God. Tries to attack us when he knows we're weak. God damn it. The Great Wolves will be no more. Not so what? Yeah. So I was trying to talk then. Uh, not such a Great Wolves are you now. And now I'll you peace. Because we can't take that place anyway. Because the others have got it. So we'll just take what we have. Oh! 
Ooh. I got it all. I thought it was the only places you had. Ooh. Northern Frostfangs. They're not going to like that. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've just gained a load of places. Now, this is what I call King Beyond the Wall. That looks more like it. I'd have probably done it about now. Actually, I probably would have taken these two and then done it. But, you know, sometimes you've got to do things you don't want to do. Doesn't matter. We have no vassals anyway. Okay. What? Oh, of course you are. I might just have to arrest him. I might just arrest him. Oh, just, he wants to become Castellian. Huh. Do you know what? End your plot. If it was something more, I'd have probably arrested him. But he is my brother. He is kin. And as we know, nothing's worse than a kin slayer. Even though I wasn't planning to kill him. <laughs> but, you know, nothing's worse than one. you got to be good to your kin. How are you doing, anyway? Your son. Not married yet, though. Good, good. Okay, not... Wow, he's rubbish. He's worse than my children. Okay. How is the injury going? How has it not come up? How has no one set up any plans to kill him? Okay, wait a bit more. Try and get up a bit again. So we can trade Northern Frostfangs. But now we're bordering King's Blood. Not liking that. But he has minus money, which is good. So that means he can't get mercenaries. Which is just what I want. But that also means that I'm dependent on mercenaries at the moment. And obviously, as we know, mercenaries are not unlimited. If we all keep using the mercenaries, I'll keep getting depleted. And if everyone keeps using them, I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, that's good. Probably give me some more men. Let's then use someone else now. Go to the gorge. How's uh, my youngest brother? Look at that. 14, he's okay. Turns out I actually did turn out the best, actually. This one actually was the best one. He's good. Though he's a great fighter. Wow. Middle of fighter. And brave. Very, very good. And that's definitely Val. That's definitely who I think it is. It has to be. The fact she's fashionable and attractive and that looks like her normal picture. It must be her. Okay. It can't be coincidence. It's way too much of coincidences. Jarl. I don't remember him though. Oh well. Not a big deal. And our intrigue just went up. And we still haven't been able to kill him. My brother-in-law. Okay. We can actually soon make a little... Uh, Sepelta, whatever it's called. Ooh. Today my half-brother, Dormund, asked me for a fief of his own to govern. Do you know what? I, I think he's much better than his other brother. But that, that seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? And again, I'm ambitious, so uh, I sort of you know want the best ones to be with me. Oh, very well. Where would we give him? Lordship of Ice Bay Shore. Eh. Okay. Oh, very well. Go on. Okay. So there we go. He's under me. Weak claim on King Beyond the Wall. Okay. Oh, there's my sister as well. Princess Munda. Oh, she turned out more capable than my bloody brothers. Yeah. I just want to. I just want to arrest this one, just so I can send him away. To be honest. Become first raider. Oh, yeah, I've got honorary titles, don't I? I could give my we we'll give my brother an honorary title. Master of the bow, master of the bow. And we'll give my next brother, master of the blade, because he's a very good warrior. Keep them all happy. And my other brother, what can we give you? You're definitely not the champion. 
I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep him annoyed. So I hope he does something. Or he at least plans to do something so I can arrest him. I should have just arrested him, yeah. I should have done it. I'll leave it for now and we'll do it later. And we can just set banish him or something. Uh, my wife, Geras, has complained about me being absent so often. And so when I find that I have some extra gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice. Maybe some sort of jewellery. Okay. Um, nothing really affecting it, I can't see. A camera myself, perhaps. Ooh. Uh, ruby earrings, is that what she'd want? Was in love with me. 15 gold, yeah, go on. It's only 15 gold. That's like 200 men. Duh. 200 men. It's nothing. Oh, looks like someone's having trouble. He's at, ooh, white tree. Wow, she might take all his places. Where'd she get all those men from? Oh my god. Okay. She is now... Ooh, this is interesting. She has now really pushed herself forward, hasn't she? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, okay, I got five, so I got one more. But yeah, wow. She's got a lot more men. Okay, only there, actually. Oh, the seal skinner. The seal skinner, he's back. Okay, he's gone under her. Okay. Garrick, oh, he's still there. Garrick the rash. Sadly, that means my uh, wife's inheritance, though, is not as good. And we haven't got the ally anymore. Oh, well, like, like I said, that's what happens with the wildlings. That's why marriage and stuff isn't as effective. We're still going to try and kill him. My guy's ambitious and stuff. He's patient. He'll wait. He'll wait. But um, that's, that's one place in it. Haunted Forest would be quite good to have. It's one I'm supposed to worry about. God damn, they, they raise so slowly. Ah. Okay. Liege Lawless Faction. Yes, brother. Thank you. Thank you for not being a dick about this. That's always a problem with giving things to family. They can't F everything up. Okay, my wife is pregnant. Finally. Thank God, 19 years old. He's finally pregnant. Northern Frostfang. And the Skirlin Pass. Northern Frostfang, I guess, will be next. She's Kyleg. Okay. Quad. Interesting name. Owen of Deep Valley. Because not many Dutch places left. If I can take these three before she does, that will put me in a good position. But again, I think at this moment in time, it takes so long for us to muster our men back up that basically money is what is going to be most important. Which is sad, but... It's the worst it's gonna have to be, I guess. Okay. It just, it just, it just recovers so slowly. Look at that. Only two hundred now. How long has it been? Like a year? I have no idea. What's going on there, I'm friend? Robert the Wild Stag. He's had more children. Princess Argyle. Okay. Any wars happening? Nope. Nothing particular. Hand of the King, Tywin the Able. He said, whoa, he, he got remarried. That doesn't happen very often. Jarka Lowborn. And he married a Lowborn? Okay, that's not really like him. <laughs> that shouldn't that shouldn't really be happening. Uh, Tyrion. 19 years old Tyrion. Still a still a very capable guy. Brother obviously still a Lord Commander, Jamie. Why is he Lord Commander under Robert Baratheon? Ah, interesting. Roland Storm. Okay. How is Cersei? She is married to Edmund Tully. I see that's happened so many times. I guess it's because they're around, like, he's he's about that age when he has to marry, I guess. She is much older, though. So I'm always surprised that Hostetelli does it. Because there's a chance she's going to have kids. She still could, but it's still quite low. I see that happen so often. Bill and Greyjoy. Married a good brother. 
They have a brother. I have a good brother as well. What is Aisha doing? Okay, she's not married to anyone. Okay. And Fion, little Fion, 14 years old. Look at him. Ah. Ah, look at Fion. And there's Paramount Denny's. And as we all know, actually, that, um, not remember Fion. Obviously, a secret dragonborn, as we all know. There he is. Okay, you got the swans there. I, I love the fact that they're Paramount to the Re um, Stormlands. Really random. Mace Tarly's had a lot more kids this time. Is lost. Yep, there's lost. Okay. And Doran the Rye. The Wise, sorry. Okay. Prince Cletus. Really? Is that really a um a Dornish name? Cletus? Not not really heard that. Oh his His sister's alive. But Ober in the Red Viper's dead. Was murdered on the orders of Lord Yorin of Runestone. Wow. He was he was murdered by the voices? Wow, that's random. Okay. But his sister's alive. And so's Rhaegar. Where are you, Rhaegar? In Drops Castle. So he's in the Westerlands. Yeah. He's hiding out in the Westerlands. Uh, has no claim on the Iron Throne, funnily enough. Because Ares is alive. Where's Ares? He's at Drox Castle as well. Wow. Okay, so Rob Baratheon took the throne, but didn't kill. But didn't kill the Targaryens. Interesting. So, Prince Ares the Mad is still alive. He wants a dragon's egg. He's still fire obsessed, obviously. He's still a bit mad, I guess. Prince of Viserys. So, Viserys is still alive as well. No, uh... No Daenerys, sadly. She was never born, apparently. Rhaegar, those had... Yep, two kids, Rhaenys and uh, Aegon. Interesting. They're all still alive at Jock's castle. Surprised he let them all go. I'm surprised he didn't kill the Mad King, at least. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Yeah. Oh. oh, the blackfish has the blue fork. And he's had a son. Cosgrove Tully. Wow. The blackfish had a son. I don't see that happen very often. I love the black. The blackfish is great, though. Okay, I think that's it from the uh, downside. Why was I keeping the timer going? That was dumb. That could have wasted a lot of time for us. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we've got to have a look at what's going on in the south. And I think I'm going to stop it there. Because I've had a nice little look at what's going on in the south. We've managed to expand quite well. We're now King Beyond the Wall. There we, we're in title, but we're not really King of the Whole of Beyond the Wall. We just have the title at the moment. And we're sort of using ourselves as that. And it's starting to lag a little bit. So I want to try and finish it now. Lord, maybe, I should, maybe I should nominate one of my other brothers. Maybe I should nominate my youngest brother. Then again, my wife's pregnant. So I might have a kid. So I might leave it for my kid. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. It's been a bit slow so far, but like I said, it was going to be like that anyway, just due to the nature of where we're playing. But hopefully, as it expands further on, we can do more crazy things. Like hopefully, we can do something about invading the south. That will really change things. And it could completely fail, which it probably will. <laughs> Not going to promise anything, but we will try the hardest. We'll have an epic war or a complete defeat. Who knows what will happen. I'll try and wait, obviously, for a good time to invade when there's like a massive sort of succession on the Iron Throne crisis happening. Because obviously we invade where it's all nice, then we'll get screwed over because everyone will come defend the Night's Watch. But that is for the future. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been Paradox. And hopefully we can continue our wildling adventures as Torog of Ruddy Hill, son of Tormund Giant Spain, the man, the legend, the berserker. Goodbye.